Hallo, salut, sind euch und hi duk. I am your German snob, <laughs> and I'm here with another episode of Let's Play Thief Gold. Now, in the last episode, we managed to recover the... I think it was a candle from this beautiful place here. And today we are going to go and give it back to that ghost guy. Now, here's a ladder. If I climb up it... It will turn out to be a shortcut back here. Though apparently I... <laughs> well, what do you know? I could just have done that. And it would have worked just as well. Also, here's a graveyard. It's pretty groovy. If that's the word you want to use in particular. Hey, there's zombie! I hope you're doing fine. Where's that ghost? Like, seriously, where's that ghost? Still here? Yes. Yes, that is the candle I was using to see the night I died. It will do for our needs. I see that thou hast all of the items we need to perform the ritual of consecration. Meet me at my grave in the cemetery. I will be sure to do so. Now, for the records... Um, actually, I'm going to show you right now. Because I've read up on that. Usually we would have needed to find two more items, but by just exploring the level I have already found them. That would be the cemetery key and also... Uh, where is it? The prayer book. Here we are. Oh, Master Builder. Yeah, exactly. We ask thee to bless our brother who hath died in thy service. Forgive him the transgressions of his living days and look with favor on his works in thy name. Come and plain, fire and forge, purify his spirit, and draw from him all which does not meet thy plan. Take him to serve with thee in thy home, where he may rest in peace eternal. Whatever. So, yeah. That is also required. And now that we know that, we can go to the cemetery. Which would be right here. We can unlock this door. And then, hopefully, finish this. Even more zombies. Oh, fine. So, where we want to go... ...is probably not here. <sighs> Let us begin, my friend. Wave the rosary over my tombstone. The rosary over your tombstone. Oh right, rosary, rosary, rosary. Here we go. Now place the candle on my tombstone. Candle. Um. God, I have a lot of shit in my inventory. Oh, go away, candle. Read the prayer of consecration. Read the prayer again. Um, oh, you know what, do we have any, any, any arrow that we can use to get rid of these bozos? Apparently, yeah, but only one. Okay, so then no. So read the prayer. Mr. Victor, we ask thee to bless our brother who has died in thy service. Forgive him the transgression of his living days and look with favor on his works in thy name. Come and plain, fire and forge, purify a spirit, and draw from him all which does not meet thy plan. Take him to serve with thee in thy home, where he may rest in peace eternal. Oh no! The holy symbol thou hast has not been blessed. Thou must find a way to bestow the builder's blessing on it. When thou hast done that, return here. Oh man! So now we need to do that too. Well, we do already know how to do that, so... Well, at least I do. <laughs> Let's be honest here. Yeah. yeah, if you remember that one little pool of water there in the observatory apparently has holy properties or something or stuff, the hell do I know? My point being, we can use it to bless that hammer. So we are going to do that. See you there, cat. Oh man, look at how I'm going to bless that hammer. 
Yeah. Look, it even changed its color. That's just how holy that water is. So now we have a blessed holy symbol. I'm so happy about that. Back to the graveyard! And here we are again. Now we should probably try not to attract any zombies attention because otherwise he will probably be annoying to me. So you know. Never mind. Holy symbol. Here we are. Hey, I have your holy symbol, you. Touch my tombstone with the holy symbol. Yes. At last, my prayers have been answered. My soul is finally free. Acolyte, thou hast saved me from eternal unrest. But I need thee to help my friends from life as well. Oh, are you kidding? I've prepared their final resting places for them. But I need thee to place the bodies in their graves. The first is Brother Renaud. He died in the cellar of the cathedral. Please, go get his body and place it in his grave. Whatever, brother Renault. Yeah, as he said, he died in the cellar of the cathedral. We have already found his body and I do remember that. It was in the wine cellar. What the hell do I know? He probably drank himself to death. So, yeah, brother Renault, wine cellar, there we go. Um, see you there. Hi there, brother Rino. And now we probably have to schlep him to the graveyard. Why, that's gonna be fun. <clears throat> and you know what? That's going to be so much fun, I'm not even going to show you. See you there. And here we are again at the beautiful graveyard of this even more beautiful cathedral. Now where do we have to take him? Right into the arms of that zombie. No. Uh, probably, probably, probably... Well, probably back here somewhere. Maybe. Or maybe not. I don't know. Pretty soon we are hopefully going... There we are! Hello, I have your friend's body. Are we supposed to place it in that grave? Because that would be the obvious thing to do. Well... Rather. I do not know who thou art, but by thy hand I can finally depart this earth and go to the pilgrim's home. It is only fitting that I reward thee. In the winter tunnels beneath the cloister, seek thee a room with a mural on one of the walls. In the upper right hand corner of this mural, spy out a hidden button. Uh huh. Press that button. Thou hast what I will find there, and my full thanks. Okay. Please bury Brother Martello. He died in the cathedral attic. Okay. Yeah, two more guys. That's, um... I mean, also that sound clip there was very, very awkward. But yeah, we have to bury... I think two other guys. Now, he just told us that that other dude is in the castle attic. We have, if you remember, already found his... Um, here we go. We have already found his body too. And if we were smart, by which I mean, if we could have predicted the fact that we have to bury him, we would have taken him along in the first place. But seeing how I didn't and I quite frankly couldn't, I have to go back there again. Fun. See you in a minute. Yeah, him, remember. Brother Martello. And hey, do you remember those wooden blanks that we had to balance over? Well, I certainly do! So, see you at the cemetery. And body number two. So, you man, you are going to sleep too. Thou has been a great help to me, friend, and I owe thee great thanks. I wish I could give thee the key to the cloister gate, but that is long lost. Take this key instead. It opens the armory in the attic. There is something up there that a crafty person like thee will find useful. I go now to my rest. Once again, I think they Okay. So now we got that out of the way. We didn't get the key to the cloister gate, but we did get the key to the armory. 
Also, he did tell us about a secret room in a room with a mural in it, right? Where we could do stuff and then stuff would happen. And we will probably get some sort of treasure. And I think first I'll try to find that one too, so see you there. I think he might have been talking about that place because there's that loose brick there. And also there's a zombie who is probably going to wake up pretty soon. And now that I pressed it, nothing happened, right? I don't really remember what he said would happen, I have to admit that, but... Ah, uh, what was it? I assume that somewhere nearby, uh, some sort of secret passage must have opened up, and now... I don't know. Oh, come on. What am I missing here? I don't know. But as soon as I found it, I'm gonna get back to you. Yes. Da! That's where it opened up. Well, that was not obvious at all. Holy water, that's actually pretty nice. More sorrows, that's actually kind of useless. And also... No loot. Oh, wait, I was wrong. Water arrows, well, okay, but I expected some actual swag here. But apparently I was wrong about that. So, you know, see you at, in the attic of the cathedral, which is for which we got that key. So, till then. Now, that here, right here, is the door to the armory. We can enter it now. In here, there is. Well, what would be in here? What looks to be a bunch of useless stuff, but also a, an explosive charge, so apparently we have to blow our way out of this place. Beware! This object is a powerful explosive device. Only authorized demolitions personnel should employ it. Place close to target gate or portcullis. Oh, I will. Trigger the device with fire. Take adequate cover before detonating. Note, the explosion is not of sufficient power to destroy walls. Be sure to target gates and other weak structures. I will do that. And talking about fire, there's a fire arrow chest lying next to it. Two of the... No, actually, I think there was just one of them. So, yeah. Anything else in here? No. But now we can blow open the gate. Which means, back there we go. So, we are leaving. That means we are going to place the explosive charge... Wherever it might be, I have way too much stuff in my inventory. It is kind of annoying. Where is it, really? Explosive charge, here. Yeah. We place it here. Then we equip a fire arrow. We should probably take cover. So, God knows we are gonna go as far away from this as possible. Hope that's enough. And then we are going to fire at the explosive charge. Here we go. Yatta! See you later, suckers! I don't know. But I escaped. That's important. That's what matters. Mission accomplished. And that being said, I am your German snob, this is Let's Play Thief, and I'm going to be seeing you again, hopefully tomorrow. And until then, have a wonderful evening and goodbye.